Did you see that occult fa- Let- About that talk- Yes? What about it? I just saw it. You did? Use your finger, woman. Point! The magical bird is making a mockery of us! Get it! Get it! Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Soft-headed fool. We'll need to carry him home to have someone look at his head. The tree can wait until tomorrow. You do the carrying. I'd do it myself, but someone needs to lead the way and keep an eye out for uh, potholes. That was brilliant! First, I did my thing, and then that goofball tried to hit me with a rock, and then stuff happened, and Dung for Brains got knocked out, and then they all left! End scene. It was almost like one of those puppet shows that Wizard puts on in the square. It was hilarious! I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's the most fun I've had since... since... I don't know, I guess since I hung out with April all those years ago. This place looks a lot bigger on the inside. It is a lot bigger on the inside. Okay, this is freaky. I feel dizzy. There must... Those are some portentous look... Abnaxus was a very well-read man... thing. Then again, why should I be surprised? Abnaxus must have been a big believer in crystals. Or maybe... There are enough... Mu right, so... Clues. Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. Abnaxus was a very well-read man... thing. Oh, that's interesting. Someone's here. I can't let them see what I'm doing. Someone's here. Who's... Oh, God. I must apologize, ma'am. I didn't mean to frighten you. Zoe Castillo. You're the last person I expected to find here. I remember him from my last visit to Mercuria. He's right. This... I have no memory. He's right. This is... A, I remember him from my last visit. He's right. This is a very odd coincidence. I have no mem... I'm sorry, who are you? You don't remember me. Granted, it's been a while, but I would have thought that... Oh, please, don't take it personally. I had some... medical issues. I forgot everything that happened here. There are still huge gaps. I've tried my best to remember, but... Yeah, massive gaps. Understandable. Well, we helped each other out the last time you were here. We even shared an airship ride to the Dark People's Library. That's where you vanished on us, into thin air. To be honest, I've been wondering where you went off to. I just never expected to find you here, of all places. How in the name of the balance did you get inside? People have been trying for years, but this house has strong wards. Venar magic, the oldest there is. And now I understand why. It's a treasure trove. Wait, is that the Annals of Dreaming? Good God, that's a lost treasure. Only five were ever made. Why be secretive about it? I'm not sure I want to tell this. I know my way around wards. So I see. Your talents run deeper than I remember, Miss Castillo. I'm impressed. Pardon my curiosity, but what are you looking for here? Abnaxus himself vanished a decade ago. I should trust Brian. There's no point hiding any- It's not that I don't trust- I was just curious about what was in here. You know what they say about curiosity, Miss Castillo? It killed the cat? What? No. Uh, 
Curiosity is the doorway to knowledge and wisdom. Looks like I picked the perfect day for a stroll in the green. I was wondering why that odorous Hillerus fellow wasn't still trying to chop this tree down. Now I know. Let's see if we find anything interesting, shall we? Interesting. Those are some portentous looking books. I wish I could read them. This is fascinating. Without a reference to the Purple Mountains, that map won't help me. Have you found anything of interest? Keep looking, this... What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. This looks interesting. The first dreamer references in the annals of dreaming... Uh, that's this book right here. And the chapter about the first dream, it's certainly a starting point. Let's see what it says. Can you read that book? I've lived in Arcadia for decades, and there hasn't been much to do aside from studying ancient texts. So yes, I can read this book. Let's see, the chapter in question speaks of the Ular. They are said to be Wardens of the Dreaming One, whatever that means. It's a rough translation. The English language isn't quite up to the task. The Ular and the Yete, one people that split into two. That sounds familiar. It says here the Yete left the Purple Mountains to go south to burrow into the ground Something about a well of dreams. I mean, I don't know how much of this is true and how much is fantasy or prophecy. It's a, a difficult book to decipher. There's also something about two dreamers becoming one. It's vague. This is almost certainly a prophecy of some sort. The Ular live on Cloud Peak. It's in the mountains of Yedra. Where's that on the map? Ah, there it is. Straight north across the plains, right in the middle of the border mountains. This is an old book, so I don't know if they still live there. I've never heard of the Ular. They might all be dead. Uh, I knew it! I knew it! What do you think this means? Hmm. I'm not sure there's much to learn from that one. That note fell out of the annals when Westhouse turned the pages. Here's another note. On the matter of the kin and the approaching war of the balance... <laughs> By Jove, this is the information we've been looking for! I can't believe it was right here all this time! Your help has been invaluable, Zoe. I'm in your debt. This note fell out from the pages of the annals. What's a soulless stone? I'm not sure. The soul stone was taken from Luke's by the warlock Clax. It must be retrieved or the past, present, and future will cease to be. 
That sounds ominous. It does indeed. I don't know about any soul stone, but I'm guessing this Clax fellow does. I wonder if Abnaxus means old Roper Clax. April told me his story. He was a two-bit wizard who resided in a floating castle up north near the border mountains. April said she taught him a lesson. She didn't get into any details, but he lost his castle. Last I heard, he's doing children's theater here in town. Reformed, apparently, if that's a thing a wizard is capable of. Sounds like this soul stone is important. I'm sure Abnaxus won't mind me borrowing this. I'll return it to him in person, if I make it to Cloud Peak. Let's see. There. Cloud Peak, just like the book said. The War this is it. Of the this balance. shows the way to the Purple Mountains. Finally, something concrete. Abnoxus left so much behind. There's a wealth of information here. I should get going. Should we... Would you mind terribly if I stayed here to read these books? Well, this is... it's private property, isn't it? Abnoxus isn't coming back, and I've been itching for a chance to peruse his library for years now. I promise I won't remove anything or make a mess. It doesn't look like Brian's going to do any damage to the place. He's respectful and cute. He might have the best of intentions, but I made a promise to blind Bob. I'd feel awful if anything happened to Abnaxus's abode. I'm sorry, I don't think I can let you stay in here. I'm not sure I need your permission. I... Only joking. <laughs> I understand. I'll take my leave now, Miss Castillo. I certainly hope we'll see each other again soon. Didn't you say something about a wizard and a puppet show? Nope. No, you did. You said something about a show in the square. I did not. Crow. Oh, right, right! Roper Clax's Fingerlings! Man, that show's great! A modern classic! Clax. He's the wizard April Ryan fought. That's right. He was behaving badly, so she fought him and trapped him inside some sort of calculating machine. Pretty clever stuff. Where can I find this puppet show? I'll show you. The city feels all wrong without magic. This is gonna be so good. I feel better having Crow around even though I'm not sure what he can do. Still, a useless sidekick is better than no sidekick. I, I'm not saying he's useless. If you'll seek an autograph, you must purchase my book first. It's on sale today, only- No, sorry. I, I need to talk to you. Talk, hmm? Well, I only have a few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. This has to be the right man. It's an odd name for a ch Didn't he and April have some sort of- It's an- This has to be the right man. It's an- The Fingerlings. 
Ah, my beloved finger puppets, beloved by all children and critics alike. Gilbert Grutton of the Daily Mercurian called my show simply astonishing and wrote that it was quite impossible to look away. I couldn't believe my eyes and like a slow motion cart wreck. You see, the fingerlings represent a revolution in finger puppeteering, or as I call it, fingering, uh, trademark and patent pending. The women in particular are quite ecstatic about it. Stay for the show. I guarantee a good time. This has to... You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. No, the... The wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery. Not anymore. You should really read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. It's a thrilling story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. I might as well get... Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That was a long time ago. In another life. I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance? Pardon me? I don't know where that came from. Who? Yaga, the wicked witch of the north, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places. She feeds on that stone like a... <laughs> like I said, that's in the past, and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. <laughs> Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. After the show. After the show. Yes, 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 yes. Toodaloo! Yes, here we go. This is gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans. And you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch, just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of... The Fingerlings! Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Rupa Clax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free, personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings! Uncrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans using only the finest fabrics and natural materials these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players you're all welcome to approach the stage after the show of course to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately no food no touching no children 
And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land loved the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the Magistrate, wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty! I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. 
Mush, Daisy, mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I'll, uh, I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me! How much longer will this journey take? Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any regrets? And people say you have no sense of humor. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe this... we're on a mission. This is neither the time nor place to make If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe the we're on a mi- I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I left an innocent man behind to die during my escape from Friar's Keep. I thought I was doing the right thing but I only caused him more pain. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I ran Balse Bakim through and watched him bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so, but many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko, and- I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. And people say you have no sense of humor. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. And it cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. But I respect you, Kian. And I trust you. Intolerant shit. Too harsh? You may have a point. Ah, anyway, I'm exhausted. All this male camaraderie takes its toll. Keep to your side of the hold, or I may accidentally stab you in my sleep. <laughs> 